Hi, I'm Cherie Donahue, and today I'm going to show you some classroom Christmas crafts for kids. So here's the snowman craft that we're going to do today. This can be used as an ornament or a door hanger, or you really could hang this anywhere in your house for a great Christmas decoration. Um, this snowman is very simple to make. We're going to use eight popsicle sticks, and you're going to start by gluing those popsicle sticks together. You want to glue seven of them. The eighth one will be used for the hat brim. So you're going to take your popsicle sticks, line them up on a paper plate, um, get some Elmer's glue that you kind of water down in a cup, or you could use even Mod Podge. Using a paintbrush or using a foam brush, you're going to brush the backs of those popsicle sticks and then set them aside to dry. Once those are dried, you can start your painting. You're going to take some white acrylic paint or you could use tempura paint, maybe even poster paint. Take your paintbrush and paint over those popsicle sticks. You can paint the entire section if you like. Um, once that paint is dried, then you can hot glue gun on or use Elmer's glue again to glue a diagonal brim for your snowman's hat. Once that's glued on, you're then going to take your black paint and your paintbrush um, and paint across so that all of this top part where the diagonal hits is all black. Once that's done, you're going to have the white face, the black hat, and then you just need to add the details. So for some of these details, we, you can use an orange piece of foam board for the nose. That's what was used on this snowman. Or if you don't have foam board, felt will work, construction paper will work. Um, cut out a shape that you like for the nose and glue that on with Elmer's glue or hot glue gun will work. Then you're going to take two small googly eyes and you're going to use glue or hot glue gun, glue those on. And then you're going to cut a piece of ribbon to fit across the brim of the hat. Just measure that ahead of time, snip that, and glue it across the brim. After that, it's kind of fun for kids to take the black paint, you can put it on a paper plate, and you can take your fingertip, dip it in the paint, and then put it across the white part for the mouth. Or you can use a paintbrush or even a Sharpie pen will work too. And the yellow star is made with, again, a piece of foam board or felt construction paper, and in this case it was a wooden, wooden star that was painted yellow. For the very last touch, glue on your ribbon, your gold string, anything that you want to use as the hanging part, and use a hot glue gun for that so that it stays firmly attached. You can sign your name on the back and the date so you can remember when you made that, and then hang it up in your house.